All right, welcome back guys. This is another segment of Answers from the Tool Room. Today we'll be going over the Alfi conveyor on the 7532 Dynastic machine. So this is the Alfi conveyor uh, that we talked about earlier. This is available on the 7505. Uh, uh, the 7532 as well as our 7535 uh, nested base machines. This is the five foot format. You can also get it in a seven foot format as well, depending on the size of the bed of your machine. So a couple quick things we're gonna go over on a conveyor table. It's obviously gonna be the main thing here is the belt. So when you are offloading parts from this machine, uh, you wanna be careful to not either use razor blades or cut material into the belt here. We don't wanna cut this because it is wrapped around this whole system and to replace it uh, is a lot of labor. So we don't wanna damage this belt. We also have our motor here on the right-hand side. Uh, this is for turning the conveyor belt itself. You also have an e-stop, which will be sitting here. So if you notice the situation, or if you notice something on the machine going on, if you're unloading parts here, while the machine's running, and you notice something going wrong, you have an e-stop here to stop the machine from running. Uh, along with your motor, on this right-hand side, we have our cover. This holds our gear and our pulley system for the motor itself. This should be left on at all times if the machine is running. It should only be off if you're online or if you're on a phone with a qualified service technician. We also have our light sensors. So we have one on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side. Uh, these sensors are designed to stop the conveyor belt when panels reach it so you can unload safely and then once they are clear, it will also feed the rest of the panel forward to you. Then at the bottom here, we have our foot pedal. So this foot pedal, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's our foot pedal here. This is a way for you to manually move the conveyor belt as an operator. If you don't wanna rely on the automatic sensors, or if you have a really long part that you have to take off, then you can switch over to your manual style with the foot pedal and take those parts off. Uh, one last thing I wanted to show you guys about the actual conveyor is the, the belt track itself. We talked about keeping belt safe and keeping it maintained, but there's also a track system for the belt itself. So as you're looking at this guy, you have these, this green roller that the belt sits on. Now, if you, if over some years and years as you run your machine, if you notice the track of the belt uh, is moving either to the left or to the right, there is an adjustment on the left-hand side of your table. This is for all outfeed conveyors, whether it's the newer style on the 75 series, or if you have an older uh, Dynastic 7516, this also has the same adjustment over here for tracking actual belt itself. Now, a couple of things you'll see once we push this material off onto the conveyor belt. Once it does hit this light barrier, it will stop. And as we offload our parts, and as we use our labeler, if you have that option to, uh, label your components then it will continue feeding forward so i'm going to turn the remote control up and have it push off for us so as it's pushing off materials you can see the conveyor belt is running we have our dust hood uh for the conveyor belt if you have that option it will be down at the correct height and as it reaches the sensors here it will stop my panels uh, from keep going off and falling onto the floor. Now, like I said, at this point, if I need to, I can use my manual foot uh, pedal to bring our parts off. But at this point, I'm gonna grab my pieces. I'll put these aside. And as I'm grabbing the last piece or this trim piece that we have here, and as I break this guy off, and take it off, the panels will continue to feed forward as I remove material off of my conveyor belt. So this will also allow the machine, once it's done pushing off, to go back and be ready for your next sheet if you have an in-feed option, or if you have an operator that's gonna be loading the panel, he can load that while this is sitting here waiting for him ready to go. Uh, so now for you guys with the dust hood uh, conveyor, if you have material set in uh, work center when you're running programs, this dust hill will automatically be at that certain level. You don't have to do any manual adjustments here uh, on the actual dust hood. 
it will drop down based off the thickness of the material you're running uh, on the last sheet. So if between, let's say I got a three quarter first and then I'm running an inch and an eighth, it will adjust the dust to accordingly to the next sheet it's gonna push off. So you don't have to worry about that. The only thing you're gonna really be checking for on this is to make sure you don't have any little strips of material stuck up in the conveyor system uh, and also in your brushes and make sure they're still intact. So basically what we went over today was the operation of the conveyor belt. We went over how to maintain it and how to look for any, any potential damage on your belt or your brushes or anything like that. Also how to use our manual foot pedal, which I showed you guys here, will feed the panel forward. So this will bypass your sensor. So just FYI, if you're using this, I can feed these panels right off the edge of my conveyor belt. So you have to be pretty careful when you're doing this. Uh, we went over our sensors, which are here. Also our e-stop and our motor system uh, on the right-hand side of the conveyor belt. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can guys get notified of any future videos from our channel. Thank you.